All right, so back to the quotient identity. We've discovered how we arrived at here, but now you're going to get a question that might equal to this thing, but look totally different. So you're going to say, how on earth did we get this? So we need to be familiar with how else we're going to show this. Let's remember uh, what uh, these things can also equal, okay? Um, this thing here can also equal 1 over sine cosecant, okay? That sine theta can also equal 1 over cosecant. Cosine theta can equal 1 over secant theta. Tangent can equal 1 over cotangent, okay? So what we have here is, these are our reciprocal trig identities. So we have to remember that they might get thrown into the mix. The other thing is, okay, so there's one. No, this is a must no reciprocal trig identities. And then the other thing is grade seven, so no big deal, nothing scary. What you do to one side, you do to other. Okay. I don't know how to pronounce that. So what does that mean for this? Uh, watch. I'm going to start it. Uh, I'm going to just go here and just just let my mind wander and see what happens. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna write theta just because it'd be uh, re redundant. Uh, well, no, I'm better. Yeah, just keep it. There. Okay. I know that I can flip this and say one over tan equals cosine theta over sine theta. Oh, this is the other thing I forgot. Remember, if this fraction is true, if you you can flip the numerator and denominator for the entire thing, and you'll also get a true equivalence, okay? That's another, that's the third principle that uh, makes sure it's in there, okay? So that's what I did here. That's all I did. So it could like th look like this, but I know that that's, I know that that's simply cotan. So I could have something that looks like this. Cotan theta equals cosine over sine. Well. I could say that instead of cosine, I'm going to have 1 over uh, secant, okay? This, I just replaced cosine with 1 over secant. So I could have something like this, which is 1 over sine theta times secant theta, just out of the blue, equals cos uh, cotangent. Or I could say tangent equals sine theta times secant theta because I'm just flipping it back over again. Hmm. What else could I do? Well, oh, let's see. We could mess with this thing. Sine theta is the same as, if that's the same as 1 over cosecant, then I could say 1 over cosecant theta, 1 times sine theta. Write that. This equals tan. Okay, so this is another way of writing it. I could say that, uh, Cotan, oh, I get times both sides by cosecant theta. And get, cancel, cancel, cosecant theta, tan theta equals secant theta. You see where I'm going with this? It, all I did was do what you, one side to the other here. All I did was flip it, replace things with other things. I'm just going on. It could look like this this quotient identity. Um, I could say, I could, instead of writing tan, I could write 1 over cotan. So I really have cosine theta over cotan theta equals secant theta. I could have, change this back to uh, 1 over cosine. And then say, I flip it, and then I have cotine theta over cosecant theta equals cosine theta. Okay? All these different ways of writing this. All these different ways of writing this. Cotan, okay, so that's that's one over that's the reciprocal of tangent. So I could say tangent theta like that. But cosecant is the same as sine theta. So I'll just or it's not the same as it's the reciprocal of sine theta. So I could say that that's also true. I could Divide by cos on both sides. And get 
this equals 1 sine over cos. And what, I mean, let's look at this here. Uh, 1 over 10 times sine over cos theta equals 1. That's what we're saying. Well, this, this itself equals 10 sine over cos. Well, that kind of looks handy, right? Cancel, cancel, 1, 1, 1 equals 1. I can go on forever. I mean, just flipping, doing one thing to one side. The bottom line is if you are, are, are sketchy in your, uh, your what you do to one side, you do to the other, your algebra from grade 7, then it's going to be trouble. But if you're not, practice flipping these, ratio, uh, these uh, identity around to looking like different things in as many possible ways as you can do. I'll probably, I'll probably work that into one of the assignments. Many different possible ways you can show because uh, it, sometimes it's not going to, you know, you're going to have to, you're going to have to figure out if it says, you know, what's this. You're going to have to whittle away at it to get this. You know, like, you'll have to be able to maneuver these things.